For Unit 14 technique, let's explore chord playing across the range of the keyboard. If we're going to move across the range, we're going to have to prepare our hand. So what we do then is not only be concentrated on where we're going, but let's concentrate on coming off from the old note to immediately place the hand in the new position. Too often pianists get stuck in the past. We glue to where we were, and then at the last moment have to get to the higher notes. So as you play, immediately notice the wrist. It floats right off and lands to our new placement, and it can be there well ahead of time. Carrying on, here's our C sus, and then the five seven. If you want to add a bigger sound, let's take the left hand bass notes there, play them an octave lower, or play them in octaves. We heard four chords there, constituting a chord progression. Chord progression means a set of chords that are repeated over and over. And pop music often have sets of four chords that just repeat through a verse, maybe change a little bit and repeat for the chorus, coming back to that same chord progression for the verse. In classical music, the term is cadence. Cadence means a set of chords that are moving towards a finish. If we look at our music theory page across here on page 153, we've got a set of chord progressions, a set of chord cadences, if you will. What was that? There was a one to five, seven to one. Let's take the column on the left. First one's one, four, one, five, seven, and then to finish it off back to one. Let's focus on those first four, one, four, one, five, seven, one, and give a full measure to each. So one, four, one to five, seven. Or how about augment it and stretch it out to two measures on each chord. Right? Or we could give it a little bit more of a Paul McCartney sound. get the idea how you can take these and build two-hand accompaniments out of them that sound really good, like real finished pop songs. Chord progressions, then, are the way that we use our 1, 4, and 5, 7 chords. Use them for expressive playing, use them to make your own songs, and use them, of course, in your analysis of the songs that are given.